welcome. Welcome, everybody. Hi. This is our hanging out, and that's what we're doing today. We're hanging out. We're hanging out. Right, Seth? Okay. That's uh, Victor Moreno and the V Band, and the um, song Hanging Out. We always like to start with that introduction. As always. We're live in Las Vegas. There's no better place to be than in Las Vegas. Right, to hang out. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's what we do. So I'm Kita, memorabilia expert. And I'm Stephanie. Um, well, I'm also a memorabilia expert here in Las Vegas. Yeah, so today I can't believe that we have such a great lineup of, of items and collectibles that are featured in our auction. Tomorrow, Stephanie, is tomorrow the big day. is the big day. There's and a lot of great items in tomorrow's auction for sure. Yeah, and of course the big, the you know, the big collection that everyone, everyone, everyone's been talking about, this Michael Jackson collection. Yes. I don't think that, that there's been so much publicity first round of Michael Jackson items came out. Yes. And I really think it's because of that controversial piece, which we'll be talking about later on in our show today. So stay tuned for that. But before we kind of hit up on that, I wanted to talk about just some of the the most expensive pieces that were ever sold of Michael Jackson. Okay. I'd be surprised because this is some new information for me. So I want to get excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I mean, of course, iconically, it's Thriller. <laughs> Halloween is coming, so you oh, got it. Yes. You know. So that sold that jacket sold for over a million, almost two million dollars. Wow, that's incredible for the Thriller jacket. Wow, yeah, wow, that's awesome. And yeah, and so right, so and that and that's another piece that sold, which I kind of thought was appropriate. Mm -hmm. It was the Andy Warhol Michael Jackson art piece. Oh, and that was an, about a million dollars. And the reason I'm kind of bringing up Andy Warhol is because. Stephen Kaufman, mm -hmm. if you remember, Stephen Kaufman, the artist, was a protege of Andy Warhol. Yes, you could you could see that in his artwork as well. Almost the style that uh, both Kaufman and Warhol did uh, remarkable, iconic art. And we happen to have quite a bit of, of Kaufman artwork because actually Steve lived here. Yes, we knew uh, Steve, and we also know his actually the protege of Steve Kaufman. So there's actually this lineage of Andy Warhol, mm -hmm. Steve Kaufman, um, and we actually picked up a, another wonderful piece, and this is of Marilyn, and that, that came in, of the original oil of Steve Kaufman, and mm -hmm. it's actually signed by Hugh Hefner. Yes. So we've got that piece rolling in, but so that Andy Warhol sold for about a million um, wow. of, yeah, of, um, wow. of Michael Jackson. And, and um, yeah, so those I thought were the two the two biggest pieces. I mean, you can talk about all of the other mm -hmm. costumes of Michael Jackson's that, you know, Lady in, Gaga in bought right. and, you know, she was going to do that museum of all his costumes. Mm -hmm. And we have some of that here in, in the, in the auction that ends tomorrow. Yes. Yes. A lot of great pieces, a lot of great items by Michael Jackson, as well as family members. Yeah. Right. Joe, exactly. Jackson. Joe Jackson, Joe Jackson. There's a lot of Joe Jackson items in, in and Jermaine. Yeah, uh, Joe Jackson and Jermaine. Um, that one suit is just to die for. I mm -hmm. love that suit. It's vintage. I think maybe what from the '70s era was it? It's possible. Well, yeah, '70s, '80s. Yeah, it it's has, really cool. Vintage. Yeah, I mean, I would even. Wear it. So yeah, and and there's a couple other pieces that actually have sold, um, you know, recently that are not, you know, Michael Jackson. But mm -hmm. I, I wanted to kind of bring it up. Um, was a Randy Randy Johnson. Um, a gamer. Um, Just hold on for one moment, sir. We'll be right with you. Uh, here. Yeah, we're I'll we're get, yeah we're li we're live at our we're live at our store, and we're actually up front because all these items are featured up front, and um, so we can um, yeah. So we still have people coming into our store, so we're just gonna deal with one of our, our customers. You can you can come on um, back and around. Uh, Kind of, yeah, go 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 ahead for you. You're just live online right now, so yeah. So uh, so Randy Johnson's gamer. I mean, you know, Randy Johnson, Seattle Mariners. I just kind of thought, you know, we like Randy Johnson. Mm -hmm. We sold one, and you know, they go for about five grand for a five grand for yes. a gamer. Well, Diamondbacks. Yeah, the Diamondbacks, and um, we sold the Diamondbacks. This was the Mariners that sold. Mariners. We also sold a, a Mark Chagall. Mm -hmm. There was a Chagall that sold, and and, yes. they, and they sell for about eighteen hundred. There mm -hmm. we had an etching actually signed. It wasn't the, 
the, the etching was actually a print of the etching and then Chagall signed it. Mm -hmm. So we actually have a, a very uh, wonderful wide array, wide array of memorabilia. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to kind of go from on to sports collectors show, the, sure. the Chicago show. I just got off the phone with Megan. Megan, shout out to you. I know you're doing all kinds of work because <laughs> we didn't do the nationals this year. Yes. I know it's like one of those things and that I guess it's because we're, we've been busy, but we've been busy in the store. So yeah, so we have some other customers coming in. We're coming in. We're live on the internet. Yeah, we're just doing our live show. Is there something we can help you with? Okay. Oh, I'll get, I'll get more going for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So the sports collectors show is, you know, didn't go this year, but they are going to do it in Chicago, and Chicago is really exciting to do the show in. And I just wanted to talk about that because you want to get ready for it. I know that the sports convention um, is just one of the you know best places to see some of the newest wares that everybody has. And we're going to be showcasing a, an amazing baseball collection uh, in Chicago. Uh, but yeah, so. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow night is our auction at memorabilia.expert. That's memorabilia.expert. You can you know, check out the website. You can, you know, also give us, you know, if you had any questions about any of these items, we can, you know, help you out with that. So outside of the Michael Jackson items that are going in auction, which actually got TMZ coverage, the Daily Mirror coverage, um, and oh no, the, the the Daily Mail and the Mirror mm -hmm. coverage. I mean, there's all. I mean, it's it's just it, it's, it's it's been pretty crazy. wild. I heard. I haven't seen it's the crazy, articles yeah. yet. Um, but it's very interesting how things just pick up and take off. Yeah, well, because it is it is the it, it is the IV it's the IV bag that was uh, taken from the uh, oh. sunset house of Michael Jackson's after he died. And this is according to Marcia, who is the cousin of, of Michael Jackson. And she's a great lady, a wonderful, sweetest lady, uh, you know, ever. And um, so shout out to, to her. But uh, yeah, so that IV bag's got traction because, you know, it's still got some blood on it. And, um, you know, and some people say it's morbid. But, you know, my, my whole thing with everything that we do offer for auction here is that I'm offering, we're offering a part of history. Right. And it's, it's, embracing all of Michael Jackson mm -hmm. and every it, component of his life in general I mean it's it, it's not just a it's he's more than just a creative artist so to speak he's more than headlines he's it's more than that it's more of a, he, he was a person it's a person he's it's a, a person. human and humans have faults humans have strengths humans have all kinds of things that compose themselves of what they are and these ivs were part of his life and and his i mean he wasn't able to perform and he wanted to perform for us for the fans and he wanted to continue and, and he needed help to do that and these IV that's a part of his whole person you know he was you know and with addiction addiction hits uh, uh, you know many people's lives yes it doesn't matter what color race gender creed and you know you are addiction is very real and so, you know, for Michael Jackson, that's why I'm, I don't partic particularly feel that this is morbid, but mm -hmm. more of an embracing right. and an honoring of who Michael Jackson was completely. Of course. But so the Ivy bag is there, and as well as Joe Jackson's dentures. I mean, we have Joe Jackson's dentures. I mean, that's how close. Something for everybody. That's how close <laughs> we you went know, to the family. We, yeah, we went to the family. So, yes. and Joe Jackson's smile really was is, is also kind of iconic. You know, they had that big, big old grin. <laughs> That's you know? true. So now we got the choppers to prove that you know, right? <laughs> he was smiling that whole time. But yeah, so TMZ picked up the story, picked up all these uh, all these collectibles. I mean, almost I think everything is bid on. But there's also great little. Oh, I guess maybe tchotchke lots. There's from. good lots that we put together that have a wide variety of different jewelry and different things and mem mementos related to the family as well. A lot of concert badges because obviously they were in the music industry. So they had a, a lot of, they went to a lot of co a concerts. Uh, you know, backstage passes. Christina Aguilera they were a fan of. Of course, the Jackson 5 did a show out here in Las Vegas. So there's memorabilia related to that. Um, just a wide variety of, of trinkets and uh, belt buckles and hats and just a, a wide array. Right. And, and then, of course, like the gorgeous, we got the platinum albums, the awards. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there was a Lifetime Achievement Award. 
you know, which I, I personally think is absolutely fabulous. So mm -hmm. really, you should definitely take a look at what we have available, even if you just want to see it. I mean, we have, yeah, and like right now we have some of that featured here. So um, we're going to pan on the items that we are, have showcased. So bear with me so it doesn't get a little bit, kind of put it here. We're going to go around this way. Show the wig in yeah. there so, so you can see the that. That's the wig. That's the wig that was There's worn. a shirt right there with the hat. Look at that Jackson 5 leather jacket, a motorcycle jacket. I'm trying to go slow here. Just oh, th This jacket down here is incredible too. I don't know if I showed that completely. Let me get a little down a little bit lower. Here's that award presented to Katherine Jackson from Epic. Let's go this way again slowly. Uh, IV bag that we've is part of that controversy right there. Make sure that's in the shot. So you can see that. And uh, we'll go down a little bit here. Shoes, shoes, shoes. And the jackets up here. Look at that sparkle on there. Take a look at those the earphones, the headset. The, the headset I mean, up there. I mean, those are see vintage, the vintage. Classic. That's like, that's, beats. yes. The vintage beats. Vintage beats. All right. And then uh, I just kind of just finish with the little thing there. So let me bring you guys back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was nice. All right. Let me make sure we have the right angle. So I'm going to sit right. down here. Let's see if we're the right. I think we do. Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Okay. Yeah. And then there was one other piece I kind of wanted to talk about in the Michael Jackson collection, which were his loafers. Mm -hmm. And these loafers, I mean, there's, I'm going to just show you the wear on these. He wearing these all the time, really almost as a slipper. I mean, these were his moonwalking shoes. Moonwalk shoes. Okay. He loved these loafers. I mean, these, very comfortable. The loafers were his logo. <laughs> Right, the, the really were his logo, mm -hmm. and they still have the socks and the shoe um, that would be what the shoe yes. tree inside mm -hmm. to keep them, yeah, to keep them perfect. Well, in, in shape. So, I'm sure he probably did a couple spins on these at home. I'm he, sure, you know, but I mean, well, they're his favorite type of shoe for sure. Yeah, so, they're, they're definitely a loafer and mm -hmm. um, also part of the collection, also very iconic. Uh, and just kind of a note, we had a line on actual moonwalking shoes that we, we mm -hmm. hope to uh, apply. We're working on that now. Cool. Yeah. Very so, cool. Um, I'm, I'm going to kind of move away from Michael Jackson, and I'm going to talk about the Eagles. I mean, we have some great rock great. and roll. Yeah, we don't just uh, have that spectrum of just one type of memorabilia. This isn't just Michael Jackson stuff that's an option. We have a wide variety of other entertainment items, as she's going to show you, as well as sports items, too. So. Yeah. So the, now... Who doesn't love the, the, the Eagles? Right. It's, they're okay. amazing. I mean, I mean, what's your favorite song of the Eagles? I couldn't tell you. Hotel California. <laughs> right? Yeah. Hotel, right? Hotel, Cal California. Okay. Hotel California. That's one, at least Classic. Gotta be, Classic that's got to be one of them. Classic song. So this guitar, this is, this is an acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. Unbelievably, it was used by, and this was Tim Schmidt. Tim Schmidt was the bassist. Who came after? Um, who came after Meisner? Who came after Randy yes. Meisner? We always <laughs> have someone in the back for uh, other experts here. Yes, AKA thank you. Victor. Thank you. So, <laughs> Mark Eckert was was given this Tim Schmidt personally used played Goya acoustic guitar mm -hmm. um, by the sister in law Noreen Schmidt. So Noreen was the sister of Tim. So this is Tim Schmidt's guitar. Mm -hmm. Now, there was a famous song that, is, um, oh boy, I can't believe I don't know that. Uh, there was a famous song that he, he created, um, and I'm, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go find out, but he, he wrote that song and he wrote that song on this guitar, but he did a lot on the, on sure. the, on the acoustics. I mean, you got to understand. If musicians. The, if musicians will use something that they absolutely love, and I have never seen I have never seen anything related to the Eagles. Mm -hmm. This is the Eagles band, the Eagles rock band. Yes, Hotel California. Right. This guitar, Tim Schmidt, it was his guitar from the sister, mm -hmm. Tim Schmidt's sister, given to 
the brother-in-law. Mm -hmm. Okay. I Incredible provenance. I can't believe it. Incredible yeah, provenance. Stone-clad provenance. Now, I have to get, we're going to get that, um, I'm going to get that song. It, it ain't, uh, <laughs> I'm going to get that song. Well, Stephanie talks about some of the sports cards that we have in auction. Oh. And like the upper deck boxes. What's going on with the upper deck boxes? I mean, the cards went crazy. Didn't oh, they? my goodness. The... <laughs> Ken Griffey Jr. cards have just exploded. Uh, I know there was recently a documentary that they did on the Major League Baseball channel. And uh, so we're we're offering a lot of graded rookies in lots that we have available. We have uh, some, some boxes of uh, unopened packages from SP um, that could have possible Alex Rodriguez rookies in there as well as Michael Jordan baseball cards, which is crazy. Uh, yeah, they the real limited ones are the parallels, of course, the die cuts and things like that. Um, but but we're really, you know, it's a good variety of opportunity for, for people who buy in. It's kind of that gambling aspect as well. Oh, guess what? Oh, 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 hold on one second. Hold on okay. one second. <laughs> So, okay. so anyway, uh, it's a good opportunity for people to, uh, to, to get in on the auction and get some really good opportunities to buy cards and get in the packages. Uh, it, it's just, it's an amazing, amazing thing. Okay, so I actually got the, oh, the song, I think. Hold oh. on. I can't tell you why. This is the song. Well, just play oh. a clip because you don't want to get zero. Yeah. Oh. Just play a oh clip. My God. Okay. Well, that's the song. Oh, okay. That yeah. was that. That was it. <laughs> so I can't tell you. Thank you. I can't yeah. tell you why. Um, it's a song good. that he actually wrote. <laughs> he actually wrote on um, this guitar. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy, right? Yeah. Isn't that? Insane? But you get you got a little taste. We can only do a little taste of the song because otherwise YouTube yeah. Yeah. copyright. Yeah. You know, so yeah. So we we we've got great things coming up. We've got. Did you mention the clip? No, the Cliff Branch. And so bring this up. Yeah. So real quick. Now, so it's not just sports. It's not just. I mean, it's it's not just rock and roll or entertainment. It's sports. This is a Cliff Branch game worn jersey. Now, the key thing here is is the cut. It's it's specifically cut. It's that short cut for Branch, and it's got the shiny numerals. The shiny numerals which are so iconic and classic of that era. You can't just get these numerals. Okay? Right. It's on the and shoulders yeah, right and it's there. Tons of wear. It's um, lots of wear. Yeah, lots of and, great wear. And, this is, and, and by the way, this is the style that they had back then, the cut. Um, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, that looks really small. Well, that's how they wore their jerseys back then. They want them tight on the shoulder pads. Uh, so that way they don't get tackled or they do when they're doing tackling, they don't have people grabbing on them. Right, right. So very different than kind of, you know, today. I know, but they do wear them tight today, too. They I do. Mean, they're, they very sometimes tight. need three people to, to put just those get them on there. on the players. Right, 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 right. I mean, that is, it's pretty. But, but this is definitely typical there. And this is actually probably a little baggy, <laughs> like you said, from yes, compared to today, yes. today's. But this all. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. I, I, mean, Beautiful. I mean, it's got great wear on there. Our best Bracking. expert, uh, our one of our best experts, reviewed the jersey, um, and he's actually from Oakland, from the uh, San Francisco Bay Area. Um, he's one of our authenticators, uh, Kevin. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so this is great. You get 100% authentic cert with it, and everything, of course, has cert verify that you can with all our items. You can do cert verify. Mm -hmm. It has the ID number, and you can go ahead and take a look at you know take a look at the site. Type in cert verify. Right. Type in the number, and then Very everything convenient. will be documented. Um, so we make sure that you know everything is 100% authentic, and mm -hmm. you know we always guarantee and back mm -hmm. back our back our products here, back our collectible. Right. Yeah. So it, it's great stuff. So yeah, the card market is just crazy. It's crazy. We're yeah. and we're getting more in as well, and we're sending out some for grading. It's just been a constant turn with cards, especially now because they're so hot in the market. Yeah. And uh, thank you so much, guys, for the thumbs up. Appreciate it. We got two thumbs up. Great. So they like what we're doing Great. here. Yeah, so far, so good. Yeah, and our it's, auction it's, show. Yeah, the auction show. And hey, if anybody ever wants, uh, has a piece that they want to showcase with us, we would, or if you have anything mm -hmm. to talk about authentication, all you got to do is you can email us at sales at 
memorabilia.expert. That's sales at memorabilia.expert. Mm -hmm. Or just go to the site. You can also download our app at Google Play. So right now we just have the Google Play app. Mm -hmm. And there's a, a place there you can just hit inquire. Mm -hmm. And you can just uh, ask one of the experts and you can just put in maybe you have an item that you want us to talk about or yes. um, you know maybe that you just recently bought. Yeah, we had people uh, just saying hello to us and uh, someone made the comment that they like Game Worn hats. Oh, Game Worn hats. See, this is our app. This is the app right here. So it's really easy. It's just a tap. Okay, you know, tap, tap, tap. Hopefully that'll make it easier for you to mm -hmm. um, kind of, you know, rummage around uh, at our site. Yes. Uh, but, yeah, so definitely do that. Uh, our, our auction ends tomorrow. Tomorrow 8 night, 8 p.m. Pacific. There's a specific time. Remember, there's a 15-minute rule, mm -hmm. meaning the clock resets completely on all the items. Right, not so you want to keep just, refreshing. Yeah, and not just clock. per, not just per. Mm -hmm. Okay, so normally it's not going to end just right away, but right. you got to get your bids in. You want to get your them bids in early in. so they're in. Yeah, before, that's the key. Before eight, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Get them in early so before eight to make sure you're all set up that there's no issues. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so check us out, memorabilia.expert. Expert. Yes, so I think, so I guess we're all set with this one. I'm going to check Facebook as well to okay. see if we have any. Uh, questions on Facebook uh, so we'll say thank you to YouTube for tuning in and uh, we're just gonna check Facebook for some questions if we have any we'll answer them so thank you guys on YouTube